What is going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a great night. It's a great night here in Tennessee. I know it's not a great light in other parts of the world. I'm wearing a Soviet-era Strela Seconda, not to support Russia, although it was made in the first Moscow watch factory, and not to support Ukraine, although uh, it was purchased by a gentleman in the Ukraine, but to remind me that, you know, life is delicate, Life is valuable, life ends very quickly, and uh, you know, even though I can sit here and make a video about a watch unboxing, that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is keeping family close, keeping friends close, cherishing the ones you love, letting them know that you love them, and doing what you can for them. So I hope all you guys are doing that, even those in Russia, even those in Ukraine. And for my Ukraine and Russian viewers, be safe. I pray for you guys. Tonight, I'm gonna unbox a uh, wristwatch from uh, G-Shock, the one that was in the last video. We're gonna see what I chose. And even though it doesn't matter, I hope it uh, gives you guys some entertainment and takes your mind off of the craziness in the world. So uh, with that being said, stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to the video. I'm going to be unboxing with this digital camo uh, knife, which is sort of foreshadowing what's in the box. If you watched the last video, you'll remember I got an email from G-Shock. I tried to get on to pick up a limited edition Rubik's Cube styled G-Shock. Wasn't able to do so because it was sold out, but they sent me an email about these snow camo. This is obviously not snow camo, but camo nonetheless. They sent me a uh, email about this snow camo line of three watches. I picked one. I told you guys to try to figure out in the comments below which one I did pick. And uh, we're just going to unbox today and see what it is. Uh, very much your standard G-Shock box. You can see right there the uh, model number so if you guys can read that you'll know it's the 5600 this one the dw 5600 gc-7 is the model number uh no fancy limited edition boxes so far uh no fancy paperwork no anything just your basic g-shock 10 this one in the uh sort of urban design so opening the tin, you can see you've got your um, owner's manual in various languages for various watches, sort of, sort of what they do with all of their pieces. And then stuck under the tin lid, you have your international warranty card. And then we'll just take this off and uh, take a look at what we've got here. You can see I did the 5600. This is basically the same watch as I already have twice. Um, I have the uh, full metal square as well as the original uh, DW5600-E with the uh, reverse uh, display. And this one, you have the traditional display. Um, same case back, same same layout on the dial, pretty much the same watch. The only difference is that uh, that standard display and then the um, the snow camo, which is not on the back. It's just on the uh, facial print of the watch. Um, so that's not going to wear off while wearing. Speaking of wearing, let's take a look on the wrist. This is on my six and three quarter wrist. This is not going to be an end up review of the 5600 because I've done that. I'll link a video below to that, but this is just going to be a what I think about the limited edition color. I think it's pretty cool. The first thing I notice is that that standard display kind of bugs my old eyes. I'm 50, guys, and uh, that reverse display of the 5600E is a lot easier to read. Now, I am indoors. It, it, is, it is evening, so we'll see how that does tomorrow morning outdoors. But for now, I do wish that was a reverse display. 
um, silver display instead of the black background. But at any rate, uh, looks clean, looks simple, easy to read when you can get the light to it. Um, the digital um, camo, the snow camo print looks very, very nice, uh, even on the surround bezel. And taking it into the dark, you can see that surround bezel light up with the uh, digital display. Um, I haven't set this yet, so it's set on the shortest uh, second display for the, the backlight. Uh, but the backlight is very nice. No problems with the backlight. I never have a problem with the backlight with G-Shock. It's always excellent. And you can change this to a longer uh, display. Taking it outside today, you can see against the 5600E, how the 5600 GC-7 is just a darker display. I wish they had done, if I'm being critical, I wish they had done this layout, this snow camo with the reverse silver display. Um, it's just easier to read. And I actually think that silver display would have looked really good with the white and silver print of the uh, body of the case. But nonetheless, they did not do that. So I don't know, guys, what do you think? Do you like the traditional at around $50 or do you like the limited edition at $130? Uh, it is sold out, I believe. Uh, they might re-up that line. I don't know. It's already on um, eBay going for uh, I think $130 to $160. It was $130 originally. Uh, it looks great in photos. Uh, it looks great in person. I don't like that display. And for that reason, I'm probably going to sell it. I don't know if I'm going to send it back, put it on eBay at regular retail price, or maybe, I tell you what, guys, how about the, for the next week, I offer it to you on Instagram. I have an Instagram, wristwatch addiction. Go follow me there if you're not already. I'll post it up on a uh, um, watch story. Uh, you can see my stories on there. Uh, I'll put it on a story. Uh, US only, guys. I'll send it to you for 120 It's 130 retail. I'll send it to you $120 um, shipping paid if you guys want it. Just uh, first person to message me and say, yeah, I want it. Um, DM me on Instagram and um, make sure it's a U.S. address and uh, I'll give you a PayPal and uh, we'll send it out to you. Um, I don't want to make any money off of it. I'll sell it to you for less than what I got it for. I got it for $130 plus shipping. I'll sell it for $120 free shipping. It does take great photos. I do love the case. Um, I love everything about it except for that dial. I'm really sort of disappointed that I can't read that dial better than I can. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to one of you guys. If nobody wants it in the next week, I'll probably put it up on eBay. But uh, at any rate, I'm glad I got it in. I'm glad I was able to take a look at it for the review. Let me know what you like best, guys. And go follow me on Instagram for Instagram stories like this one uh, where I was videotaping this upload. And you can see my cat approves. Uh, Wristwatch.addiction. Uh, I have less followers over there than I do here. So I know some of you guys are not following me on Instagram. So definitely do. You can get an update on my Instagram stories on when I'm going to post new videos and what I'm working on as well as other things. And I did start a uh, um, Twitter. I said I'd never have a Twitter. I now have a Twitter. So it's wristwatch. A-D-D-I-1. It was auto-populated. I should have changed it, but that's that's what it is, guys. So thanks for watching till the end. I appreciate all you guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know when I upload next.